Uh, my name is Sam Wong, and uh, my team and I look after Grand Seiko Sales and Marketing in Canada. Uh, we'd like to introduce again the man of the hour, Mr. Kamatsu. I'll change it to this slide. Right, so, Mr. Kamatsu is a highly decorated and uh, currently holds a first grade certified skilled watchmaker certification and also a winner of the 1985 World Skills International Competition and winner at the Japan National Skills Traffic, uh, Competition for that same year. Very good. So now the quotes are in place. We will set the barrel. So the barrel is the, the drive source of the watch. The main spring inside it is about 55 centimeters long. Oh wow, really? Yeah. It's like yeah. The, the spring is made from a material known as five, Spron 510, developed and manufactured by Seiko. So, next the third wheel, the fourth wheel, and the sixth wheel, and the slide wheel will be set in place. <laughs> so, seriously. Yeah, so this is the glide wheel that Mr. Sure Matthew is. is showing you. So, you see on the tip of the glide wheel is where the magnet is. And in most mechanical watches, the magnet actually causes the problem, but in spring drive, it's actually a Glide wheel is seconds, right? Hmm? Glide wheel is seconds? The glide wheel, no. The glide wheel is, uh, controls the release of the... Oh, right. right Isn't there right. almost two glide wheels? Like two? Isn't there two that spin? No. Just the one. Just the one. Just the one. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So see, maybe the wheel under that wheel? That one spins yeah. slower. Yes, oh, that, spin. is, that yeah. is the yeah. fifth wheel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So now we're going to set the... Uh, <laughs> so this is the... So this is the uh, train wheel bridge. And you can see that the red parts are, are rubies which reduces uh, friction at the uh, pivot point. So all the wheels have to match up. And this, this takes uh, a lot of skill and very difficult to do. Yeah, to, to match up all six pivots. And he uses a special tool to to adjust pins and clips. So now he is testing the, the clearance, <laughs> and there's actually no uh, machinery used to test the clearance, it's all done through experience. And the accuracy would be about one one hundredth of a millimeter. Oh 
Yeah. 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 Was that him when he undid the screw, adjusting the friction? Yeah. Wow. So as 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 he knows that is uh, clear, he could tighten it a little bit. So he's testing the friction by hand, by, hand. by feeling how the yeah. wheel turns. Yeah. So he knows so, within that fine of a point what yeah, it feels to like. Yeah. One wow. one hundred of a millimeter. So the click spray. Click spray.
a highly polished uh, tweezers to prevent any scratching on the dial. So you can see this, these tweezers are actually polished on the inside to a mirror finish. Now he turns it over to set the dials in place. <laughs> and now he's turning uh, to check the date wheel. So now the date wheel is moving. And the instant that it changes, the watch is set to midnight. And now we'll install the hour hand. Thank you. 